Ho, ho, ho! Welcome to Bloodman! Sarah or Black You're Chris? actually looking for me. Emma? Hi. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Josh. Bye. Bye. Such a pleasure. So nice to meet so you. So nice to meet you too, looking forward to it. This is so cute. So Ever After is the children's side and the west side is um, right next door where I'm gonna get two looks today. And But I, at the same time, I wanted to just see what they have for kids, so. That is so cute. These are so stinking cute. My poor daughter needs clothes so bad. She came downstairs in my sweatpants and like had them rolled under. I said, honey, what are you doing? She's like, I have no clothes. I felt so bad. They need clothes once a year because they grow out of everything. What do you need um, fit and size wise? I don't like skinny. Great. We don't really subscribe to it here anyway. I this just is, feel like even this is too skinny. That's a crop too, so it's like, that's the Riley. She's kind of a, one of our little go-to. Oh. Things. From England. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, she's like, oh, I know Riley. Yeah. I sent my Riley's back. Yeah, it is. No. What was wrong with them? I just didn't like how they fit me, but you know, I'm taller, so. Yeah. This could be a cute product. Combat boots? Obviously. Right. Obviously. <laughs> that's cute. We like that. Yeah. That's a little more yours. It's giving grandma knitted wear. Mm -hmm. And I like it. Mm -hmm. I think it could be a vibe. Grandma's knitwear? Come on. So Feeling cute. it. So cute. I'm going to try it on. The problem is I have zero hips. I was really counting on getting some hips when I had a baby. It didn't come through. Oh my god, I'm also <laughs> gonna try this one on. This one, no. Grandma's knitwear is the vibe. I found this Ula Johnson coat. Give it a minute, give it a minute. I'm gonna make you a believer. Yes, it looks like I am getting ready to ride a horse in the medieval times, but. Wait, I gotta, um, I gotta button it and I can't do it with one hand, but it is a vibe. I really, really love the sleeves. Very signature Ula Johnson. Let me turn around. Can you see that? I think it's cute. Do we like this? It's giving. It's giving what it's supposed to get. It's kind of a vibe, guys. I'm not mad at you. I'm really not mad at it at all. <laughs> I really like it. I'm like... You're one of the like brave people to put it on to and be like, oh, I own this. Like, I this like it. Like... I think it's a cool piece you guys got. I got it. I want it. I got it. I got it. Okay, let's go try some more clothes. Okay. Second outfit is grandma's drapes and matching shorts. I probably will wear a white top instead, but what do we think? Grandma's drapes. I think I would wear different boots, but I think it's cute. It's fun. I think it is a fun like situation. You can also it's belt different. it up. Bye. All right, let's change. All right, this is number three. Just a white uh, dress. Really like the sleeves. Oh, okay. Okay, it's giving me bootay. Okay. I, I think I'm into it. Great for the holidays. I probably will wear it with um, those Prada Combat boots that I have. But for the most part, I think it is very pretty. This is a more classic ensemble. It's giving, if I was newly dating someone, I would go to their parents' home situation. It's a little sexy, but still like covered up. It could be like a really pretty situation. It's giving me booty. It's giving me like tiny butt from the side. I don't know about if you do full on, but from the side, it's good. I think it's almost too pretty for me. Let's try on our favorite jacket. See what this does. What are you wearing? I am wearing the Stodd 
white dress. Oh, girl. With the jacket. <laughs> you better. This jacket is going with you. This jacket's not departing from me. So you're wearing this dress exactly how I instruct every client to wear it. Wanna... Needs the hardening because yes. it's so soft. Yes, we need to touch that. We gotta give it some edge. So, that's that. Delish. You look fantastic. Okay, I think I'm gonna try on denim and another grandma's coat. Come on, grandma. Let's go. I don't think these work for me. They're a little bit biggy in this area. Mm -hmm. So after we sit, obviously denim stretches. I don't know, I think, I think it's too long for me. I like my jeans to be a little bit more cropped. And um, I don't think it does anything for my butt. Well, actually, it's okay. It's okay on the butt, but after a while, it's gonna it's gonna um, stretch out and it's gonna give me like saggy ass. They could be a vibe, but not for me. These are redone. Let's change it to another pair. And these are the next one. I think that they're a little big on me. We're giving like I can fit an arm <laughs> into these. Okay, let's try another pair. I feel like they fit much better. One right? of my favorite cuts. Very flattering. They fit much better. I don't think they're doing anything for my butt. You have to stick around to find out what two pieces, let's just say that, I'm going to try out. But this is another grandma's quilted situation that I really do like. It's a little bit different. It's not everyone's cup of tea, and that's okay. My style is just a little bit sometimes classic, sometimes edgy, and sometimes eclectic, I guess. Not very often is it eclectic. I think when I like things like this, it's a little different, but I don't know. I like to shock people, you know? It depends on what mood I'm in. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> the shoulders are amazing. I love the train. Uh, the New York Botanical Gardens Winter Gala this evening. Kia is on her way. She is my plus one, so she's going to be my date this evening. And I'm hoping she can help me with my train. And she was like, great, you invited me just so I can hold your dress. I was like, I'm not going to play you like that. But if you can hold my dress, it would be lovely. So she's on her way over. She's going to get her makeup done too. And then we're going to head out. We probably have to sit in the car for about an hour because it's all the way in the Bronx. Well, probably like an hour 15, but we shall see. I'll keep you posted on this whole process and I will show you the gown once it gets here. It's still not here, by the way, so hopefully. And what time is it? It's um, 2.30. Yep. Two, yeah. And you have to be out of here at? I'm going to try and get out of here by 6 o'clock. All right, let's see. So we shall see. Say hi, Kia. Hi. Do I look beautiful? He is in progress. <laughs> I'm out here in the crowd. Funny man, I'm beautiful. <laughs> An hour and 26 minutes to get 18 miles. Mm. That's brutal. Two hours till we have to leave. Countdown begins. Let's check where our dresses are. I had a last minute dress change up, so hopefully. It says the trip was canceled. I tried, what? Okay, so they put the, the gowns into an Uber, but when I went to track it, it says that the Uber canceled the trip. So where are the gowns if the gowns were in the vehicle? She said, I think a mistake as he took all the instructions. This is so weird, one second. I'm gonna go run downstairs. Something in an Uber, and like the, the person is like, eh, you know what? I ain't gonna take it over there. Canceled it, but with the stuff in there. I've never heard that. In my that is life. crazy. Never heard somebody do that in my entire life. 